So you're in math class again. You didn't really leave. And now you're also wondering how to bisect. Now that you're talking about on the subject of bisecting things, how you can bisect an angle. Um, you. It's using somewhat similar properties. So again, you have your straight edge compass um and your marker because markers are awesome uh and so you're just giving her random points a b and whoops b and c connecting the points wait well, you, you don't want to make a triangle you just want to make draw angle a, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P. Q, R, S, T, V, W, X. Okay. So now you have your angle. Um, You're going to set your... I don't know what to call it. This po po pokey point thing on point B. It doesn't really matter what the compass setting you set it, as long it is, as it is less than BC and less than BA. So it's perfect, perfect setting right here. Just draw an art. Ah. This is where an eraser comes in handy when your thing, when you, uh, your hand slips. Um, eraser, eraser. That eraser is not good. Uh, I'm, there's I'm the oh, there it is. Okay. And of course, I'm going to take it out again. And I don't want to just fix the easy way because that's going to just completely mess this up. Okay. And so now, setting. Uh, Different compass setting, hopefully, yes. Firmly stick that into B and make sure this time that you don't slip. And draw that arc. Yes! Just missed that. And then setting your compass setting to something uh, that is, uh, well, of course, I should probably name these points D and E. Right, a little bigger. B, just for the sake of going along the alphabet. Um, then you just kind of put your comp uh, compass on D. You can't uh, show. What? Uh, sorry. Tilt. Put, put your compass on D. Mm -hmm, that's good. And then you draw a little arc there. Again, keeping sure there's a little, it's more than halfway between uh, of E, D. Um, but it, and then you do the same thing with same compass setting. You set with E. I'm having trouble with point E. And you just draw your dryer. Mm. You need to redraw that. Uh, not redraw it, but just extend it a little. And now you're given points just for fun. F and G. Probably not the best place to put them. But now you connect, now you draw a line B, G, F, and that should be your angle bisector. I think I even have a protractor here, protractor, excuse me, protractor here to measure the angle that you bisected. You just you just eyeballing it looks right, but of course for the sake of the pro projector. Um, that is like a almost sixty degree angle. I draw nice, nice random uh -huh. sixty degree angles. When was the that was that was random and thirty degrees right there. You can see that it's bisected. And 